So the first thing that we want to do is actually install Laravel. So let's use Composer to create a new project and that's going to be Laravel. Laravel and we want to install Laravel in the URL short directory. I'm currently within this Laravel directory here. So we'll specify the target folder and we also want to prefer the distribution. So once that's installed, we can go ahead and start to configure Laravel. Okay, so let's go over to the directory in our browser just to make sure everything looks okay. And we'll head over to the public directory and you can see that Laravel has been successfully installed. Let's now open this in our text editor to start configuring it. So the first thing that we'll do is define our document markup and we'll start to apply some styles to this. But the first thing is we currently have this you have arrived message that we get with that every Laravel installation. So we need to create a new view and change this. So inside of app and views, hello is the view that you can currently see in the browser. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to save this as home.blade.php so we can use the blade templating language. Now that we've done that, we are going to head over to the controllers area and into home controller and I'm going to change this make hello to make home. I'm also going to change this to index. Uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of these comments as well. And inside of root, let's modify this root to change this to use the controller. So we get rid of this callback function and we pass an array through and the alias for this we're going to use as and we're going to call this home. We're also going to specify which controller this uses. And in this case, it's home controller index. So now what's going to happen is when a user hits this, it's going to go through to home controller and the index method that we've renamed here. And that will then make the home view that we created here. Let's create some text in here just to make sure this works. When we refresh, we see that that works. So that's done. We can now define our document markup. So I'm going to create a doc type, HTML tags, a head and a body. And inside of the head, let's change the character encoding to UTF-8. And let's give this a title. Now let's also link in a style sheet and we'll create that style sheet in the public directory as well. So we say link rel is obviously a style sheet and we choose the location to this style sheet. Let's create this first and then we'll look at linking this up. So inside of public, I'm gonna create a new folder called CSS and inside of this, I'm gonna create a new file and I'm gonna call this global.css. So this is where our CSS goes. Let's change the body style just so we can see that this is working. Um, we may as well change the input style at the same time. Uh, we'll change the font here to 0.9 M's to Homer and Serif. So inside of Home, under href, we want to output something with the double curly brace syntax. And we'll say URL to... This will be the relative or path to, um, or the absolute path to the public directory. So in this case, we just do CSS slash global.css. So in here, let's write home. And when we refresh, that's obviously taken effect. And we actually need to change this to sans serif. Okay, so inside of home now, let's define the markup that we need here. We're gonna have a container a header and then obviously our form that we enter the URL into and hit the button. So the markup here isn't difficult at all. It's just div class. So we're going to give this a class of container. And inside of here we'll have an h1 and we'll give this a class as well so we can specifically style this title. And we will say shorten a URL. Fairly straightforward. So now is the form. I'm not using Laravel's helper class, uh, helper methods for the, to generate this form uh, entirely preference. So here we want a URL to something uh, eventually. Let's leave this out though for now. 
until we create that route. The method is going to be post. So we have an input type here of URL. This is going to force um, in browsers that support this. This will actually force the validation of the URL before the user can actually submit this form. In the case that this isn't supported in a browser, it simply falls back to a text type, so it doesn't matter. We don't need to worry about backward compatibility here. And also, you'll find that uh, we're going to validate inside of Laravel as well. So you don't need to rely on this front-end validation. You should never, ever rely on front-end validation. So the name will be URL, that's just the key that we'll use to pick this up inside of the input. And we'll also use a placeholder here as well. So I'll say enter a URL. Now this will fall back to nothing on older browsers, so you may want to create some kind of label uh, or something like that in your form. For now they will just leave this because we're just focused on the back-end functionality really. So the type here is going to be submit, for the, obviously for the submit button, and the value here I'll just say shorten, that makes sense. So let's check this out and then we'll apply some styles. So it looks okay, but we can do better. So over to our global.css style sheet, we will apply some styles here. Now for the title, all I want to do is change the font weight back to normal. I don't want this to be as bold as it is. So that will just leave our page looking like that. So quite nice and for the container we want this to be centered I'm going to give this a width of a hundred percent but then I'm going to define a max width to it and this will mean that it's nice and fluid so it won't uh, look bad on uh, on mobile or tablet devices assuming you set the um, device metadata up the top we won't go into that so we'll also set the text alignment to center that will just center everything for us in there uh, well, not everything, but everything that we need. And we'll set the margin to zero and auto. So what that's going to do then, as I've said, we'll center the container and we'll also center all of our contents in here. So we can follow on from uh, to style the inputs. Now I'm just targeting all inputs. You probably wouldn't want to do this if you have other inputs on your site. But in this case, I'm just uh, being a little bit lazy. I'm going to set the padding to 10 pe uh, pixels. I'm going to set the background color to white. I'm going to set the border to one pixel solid and we'll just do a gray color so CCC and I'll also set the margin to zero. This will help it sit as close as possible to the um, submit button. So we'll specifically now target the URL uh, input that we have on the home page. Again probably not a good idea if you have other elements on your page but we'll just give this a width of 300 pixels. So when I refresh, it looks like that. So we've now got a nicely styled home page. So what we'll go on to now in the next part is actually building the backend functionality.